I'm going to take you to a very different world. So I'm going to bring you to the world of business, the corporate world, and what's taking place in that corporate world. Um, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the work that I do in the space of that uh, corporate world and what do we actually create by way of value to organizations. But the harsh reality is this. Um, it is, like Professor Kalpana said and like Rekha said, it is ultimately a woman's uh, you know, a world um, in the sense that she is a new entrant into the corporate world. So her world has always been seen as the home. And she is now like an immigrant looking into the corporate world and feeling uncomfortable because this is not where she belongs. And what does that really translate into? That translates into um, quite shocking statistics. India is uh, almost at the 128th rank out of a list of 135 countries only in the Human Development Index. Equally, um, you know, horrible rating in the Gender Inclusivity Index. Um, very poor showing as far as women's workforce participation is concerned. 25.5 percent women's workforce participation in this country, which means that you know, only one out of every four employable women, women is actually there in the workplace. If you look at the entire uh, workforce participation graph, you know, it has, it looks like a pyramid. You have at the bottom, good numbers of women entering the workplace. So no worries for all of you who are looking at entering into the workplace in the next few years. Uh, you will get jobs and you'll get some excellent jobs and I'll, I tell you that you will be very welcome in the workplace because companies really want to hire women. 45 to 46 percent of all entry-level professionals are women. And then I also predict that in about four or five years, unless you are very conscious and intentional about what you want to do as a woman professional in the Indian workplace, you are guaranteed to drop off. 48% of all women under the age of 30 drop off the workplace at least once. This, is, this number is much higher in the STEM sciences, sad to say. So if you look at the workforce participation rate, 46, 47% at the bottom, shrinks to about 30% when it reaches people with about four plus years of work experience. At the middle management level, it's around 20%. CXOs, 14%. CEOs, 8%, and it's a very lonely place for boards, for women. There is only one out of every 100 people, it's only one that is a woman in the Indian boards. So that's the truth and the reality as far as women's workforce participation in the corporate world goes. Now, I run an organization called the Avatar Group, and we have three uh, companies in it. One is called Avatar Career Creators, which is a talent strategy consulting firm, and we work with some of the top corporates in the country, uh, providing talent strategy solutions and recruitment solutions. The second organization is called Flexi Careers India, uh, and that is into evangelization of women's careers, of creating workplaces that are welcoming for women, of ensuring that the, the corporate world is actually gender balanced. Uh, you know, founded and I run, it's called Avatar Human Capital Trust, where we actually undertake skilling of, uh, you know, women, both um, at the bottom of the pyramid and, you know, um, in, in lower socioeconomic groups, who we then, uh, you know, bring into the workplace and make them economically productive. So that's the work that we do. 